on the hour. Presented by Indeed.com. I'm Jennifer Kuyper in Chicago, where Chicago Public Schools reportedly will be closed again tomorrow, the second day in a row. It comes in a battle between school officials and the teachers' union over COVID safety concerns. Meantime, CBS's Manuel Bohorquez in Miami reports that more than 550,000 Americans have tested positive for COVID every day over the past week. The South Florida surge continues, with rising cases disrupting some essential services. At Miami-Dade Public Schools, 1,700 teachers were out sick, forcing school superintendent Alberto Carvalho to substitute teach at Miami Jackson Senior High. We deployed individuals who have educational certification. We're talking about support staff, coaches. More than 10% of Miami-Dade police are out with COVID, while local hospitals are seeing an uptick in cases among staff. A CDC advisory panel takes a vote on a Pfizer booster shot for children as young as 12. The motion passes as written, and I believe it is 13 yeses and one no. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky has the final say. Tennis World number one Novak Djokovic, Djokovic may miss the Australian Open after authorities canceled his entry visa. Djokovic was granted a vaccination waiver to play in the upcoming Australian Open, but he was detained at Melbourne Airport after apparently completing the wrong visa application. Border officials have now cancelled his visa, saying he failed to provide appropriate evidence to meet entry requirements. It's a matter for him whether he wishes to appeal that. Australia's Health Minister Greg Hunt, any appeal will have to be done from overseas as officials prepare to put Djokovic on the next plane home. Scott Mayman for CBS News, Brisbane, Australia. Australia Prime Minister Scott Morrison says Djokovic was not singled out for scrutiny. A gruesome fight in Boulder County, Colorado after last week destructive wildfires. Two people remain missing. Now search crews in Colorado have found partial remains just south of Boulder in an area where one of those unaccounted for lived. The remains are of an adult. No other details are being released. A second person remains missing in the town of Superior. Colorado Governor Jared Polis has said it's remarkable with the speed of the fire and the damage it caused that there haven't been more casualties. Steve Futterman, CBS News. A fire in a row house in Philadelphia has left at least 12 people dead, seven of them children. Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney. Please keep all these folks, and especially these children, in your prayers. Losing so many kids is just devastating. On Wall Street, the Dow closed down 393 points. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.